Good afternoon everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL and in today's video we are going to talk about the red llama tree I have here growing at my house in Bradenton, Florida. Um, my red llama tree is actually back over here, we're going to go right back there. But I'm actually growing this llama in zone 9B and the variety of llama I have is red. So I want to give everyone a perspective where my red llama tree is located. As you see it's just located right here and this red llama tree stands about 15 feet tall. We're gonna get a better look at it right now. Now right here is my red alama tree. As you see right now, it stands about 15 feet tall. And when I stand next to it, as you see, I'm about six feet. I don't really stand too tall next to it. But as you see, the red alama is actually pushing out all of its flushes of new growth. From every branch you see, it's actually pushing out strong flushes of growth. Now growing red alama here in Florida is actually very doable. Now there are a few varieties of red alama. I believe there's one called Guillermo, another one called Genova Red and i believe there's one called fairchild i'm not too sure i'm honestly not too sure of which this red alama is but if i had to take a guess i will guess Genova red overall this alama tree is just really good the base of this red alama is actually grafted onto pond apple rootstock so the base is actually pretty thick but actually let's take a much closer look at this red alama so here's just another perspective on the red alama kind of how tall it is as you see here it is as we're approaching it in the fruit forest and it has a really central spot in my yard and going up as you see it's just filled with all this beautiful new growth that the red llama has put on as you see from the very top it actually started putting on new growth and getting closer to the red llama as you see we can observe the new leaves these are the beautiful leaves of the red llama and actually the reason why it's called red llama is because the new growth is actually a really beautiful stunning red color it actually reverts to a green color such as this leaf right here as it grows but as you see it's just a really beautiful deep maroon color some leaves may even be a darker maroon color maybe even appearing kind of purplish to black but that is just you know amongst the varieties of a llama now like i said this llama does stand around 15 feet tall so here we have a better look of the green leaves up top and something with red llama here in florida is i've actually heard that the trees need to get very big before they actually start fruiting well at least in their native environments is where they grow very big before they start fruiting. So that is the idea behind this red alama right here. I really want to grow it out to be really big. You know, I'm talking about maybe 20 to 30 feet and have a really big canopy on top of it. So that is another reason why I give this red alama such good space here at my house is just because I know that eventually one day it really needs to uh, be a big tree overall. And it's under the canopy of the oak just because the oak provides it a nice microclimate because red alama is still cold tolerant. You know, it doesn't really handle the cold too well, but nonetheless, you know, you could always create microclimates to help your more tropical fruit juice if you are zone pushing like I am. So as you see, look at this beautiful growth of the red llama. It's just really pretty. The leaf is really reminiscent and you can even see the red line streak going in between the leaves. Now, I actually want to talk about the base of this red llama because as you see, the red llama is tall, but the work is really where the base is and the roots and the soil. So like I said earlier, this llama is actually grafted onto pond apple rootstock and the base itself is not not the girthiest but it can be girthier now if i did trim this llama i believe the base would be girthier but you know i'm just letting it grow as it wants to i really like the bark of the red llama it's actually really smooth and this is something i really like about the red llama too is the actual stem that it pushes out is like multicolored. as you see it's kind of a dark maroon reddish blue color the red llama is just one of those anonas that put on a really cool color show you know and compared to other anonas if you didn't know the red llama is actually considered to be the king of anonas so the red llama is just really one of those anonas that if you are an anona hunter or just addicted to anonas like i am you know i would highly suggest trying to add a red llama tree or believe it or not there's actually a white llama too which i'm not too familiar with the white llama just because i don't have a white llama i am not growing a white llama I'm only growing red so you know but eventually I would love to add a white llama to my house just showing you guys more kind of angles of my red llama to show you the size of it as you see overall it's just a really beautiful tree it's really healthy pushing on good growth so here we actually have a better look of the red llama from up top now I'm actually standing on a ladder to get this view but as you see I really love the red llama leaves now something about the red llama too that differentiates it from other anonas is actually the red llama is pretty fuzzy believe it or not on some leaves as you could tell this leaf right here actually has like a little fuzz to it as you see but that's actually just the anona diversifolia kind of characteristic that the red llama has but as you see overall the leaves are just really pretty all this tree the upper canopy is really filled just because this upper canopy gets more sunlight just because it's you know more higher up as you see this is us the tree overall is actually a really good height i'm really happy to see this red llama so high but overall it's just a really beautiful tree and i'm really looking forward to seeing it grow over the years 
this is actually the main leading branch and we have budding points all along. You can see the redness of the leaf is really pretty. The tree stands about perhaps 15 feet, I would say. The Nona diversifolia red llama. And like I said, I'm not sure if it's Guillermo, uh, Genova red, Fairchild, and it's definitely not a white llama because, as you can tell right here, red leaves, but a beautiful specimen overall growing here in the food forest in Bradenton, Florida. I'm just in love with this red llama tree just because it is so huge already. It has nearly quadrupled in size ever since I planted it in the ground and it's just doing really healthy overall. I'm really looking forward to the tree. And actually my friend Vincent actually posted a photo of a red llama. And the tree was a very mature tree and it's kind of how I want this tree to look. So I'll put that here so you guys can see a mature llama tree. But overall, I just really am in love with this llama and also the fact that it is also part of the Nona family, you know, and the Nona's being one of my favorite family of fruits. It's just really cool to have different variety of Nona shea here growing at my house in Bradenton, Florida. So thank you guys so much for watching this video on my red llama. I'm really looking forward for this red llama tree to grow, you know, and overall produce here. I actually, believe it or not, last year it produced a flower for us and the flower never got pollinated because it was one of the only flowers I got. I did get a few more flowers, but, but we actually got a really heavy rainstorm one day and, and it knocked those off. So, you know, I'm not expecting this llama tree to really flower or fruit for us, maybe for another two or three more years. You know, I really want this tree to be really strong and thick and sturdy and tall too before I actually get a fruit out of it. So I am going to baby it for a few more years, but overall I'm really looking forward to harvesting scions to bring to my farm too because I do have a lot of pond apple root stocks that are ready in the ground growing. So, you know, I'm really just looking forward to uh, seeing how this fruit tree is overall here in, uh, in our area. So thank you guys so much. I'm Harley from Garden Fell, and I hope you enjoyed this Anona video on my Red Alama Anona diversifolia tree. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to do another update in a few months on the salama tree, you know, when it bursts out in more foliage because right now is just the beginning of it. Like I said, it still has so much more foliage to burst out and much more branching to do. So, you know, we're just going to nurse it until it really starts producing for us. Once again, guys, I hope you have a good day. And if you don't have a red llama or a white llama, highly suggest you adding a llama to your tropical food forest. Once again, I'm Harley from YNFL and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye now.